what is up you guys it is katya books welcome back to the channel and welcome to this full day of eating on a rest day yeah thought i would take you guys with me because it's been a few weeks since we done one of these and on a rest day it's saturday we just chilling i woke up had my normal morning oats yo the pumpkin spice protein powder from the body is back for fall you guys got to get it it's so so good and i definitely have quite an anabolic recipe coming out soon using that protein powder so down in the description box below y'all can go get that protein powder with the coupon code if you want to try it for yourselves because it's so good but anyways yeah i'm just chilling right now i'm gonna probably do just some studying because i'm taking another online class yeah it's been a good morning read the book of first peter since that's what we'll be going over at church tomorrow so i just want to get the gist of it and anyways and phoebe was freaking crazy i nearly lost her in the house this morning so she's a wild hamster that little girl i love her though she's cute so anyways yeah i will catch you guys whenever i have my next snack or meal but i'm gonna be just doing some studying for a while so yeah oh and we have some fun vegan stuff to try later so i'm actually just almost done doing some like reading and studying with this chapter but it's almost 10 o'clock and so i'm already like hungry again so instead of like making something real quick because i really want to finish this chapter and stuff before i go do other stuff for the day i'm gonna have a no car cow bar um yeah this <laughs> I like all their flavors. So if you ask me like which is my favorite flavor, like it's hard to say. Um, they do offer on their website a box where you can try all of their flavors. So it's just like a multi-pack. Um, and there's a link in the description with a coupon code as well. These are my favorite vegan protein bars as they've got awesome macros for the chocolate fudge. It's got eight fat, 23 carb and 21 protein. So this is gonna get me through finishing up this chapter and then We'll see what time it is afterwards. All right, so is it at 11 o'clock and am I hungry? Yes, am I still in pajamas? Yes, do I care what you think? No, but anyways, we're gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna show you two new products that I found that we are going to try together. So I'm pretty excited for this. All right, two new products that I'm so excited to try with you guys is one, I've been wanting to try this brand it's called Incognito. And so these are their plant protein original bratwurst so i want to see how good these are because the only other like bratwurst style sausage i've had is by beyond beef so i'm pretty stoked this is by morningstar farms as well they've come out with a lot of like vegan products and then oh my gosh at walmart i found they made a veggie burger but it's not like a plain veggie burger because it's got 18 grams of protein six carb five fat super crazy good uh, macros so i'm excited to try this and see how they taste so i'm gonna try one sausage and one patty and yeah we're gonna taste test them so really quick this one comes with microwave in instructions so i'm gonna pop this guy in the microwave while at the same time this one only comes with like stove top you know on a skillet or grill instructions so i'm gonna just do this one on a pan so that hopefully they're ready around the same time so, so excited to try these. All right, so we got them right here. They smell so good. The patty even has like that redness from like beetroot powder. The sausage smells so good. Oh man, here, hopefully you can see that well. Yeah, oh man. Smells like a bratwurst, it's got that seasoning, everything. Oh my gosh. So this was, I believe like 14 protein, 10 fat and like six carbs. So not as good with like the protein fat carb ratio as the patty from Walmart is. So I only found this at one Walmart where there's like a few in my area. So I'll have to go back if I really like it, but excited to try this. That's good. I really like it. It's not as large as the Beyond Meats 
sausages. I will say that, but it's a good size. It's bigger than like the vegan hot dogs at the least. So this would definitely go well, you know, in a hot dog bun with some sauerkraut, ketchup, mustard, vegan mayo. If you like that kind of stuff. Oh my gosh, it's tough. I should have got a knife. <laughs> Mm. Now on to the veggie patty. So this is interesting. It doesn't look like a typical veggie patty. I like that they add the beetroot to give it that redness to make it look more meaty. So they use the textured vegetable protein as well as some of like, I believe, because it said it contains wheat. So probably some wheat gluten protein. So yeah, it looks like that. Looks pretty good. Mmm, okay. The ridge, like the out, outer ridge is a little tough. <laughs> and I think that's just the fact that I, like, I cooked it in the microwave versus a pan. And it is a lot thinner than other like veggie or vegan patties. So this would be good for doing like a double patty, especially with the macros being so good. You could definitely afford to do that. Mmm. Okay. It's all right. It's definitely missing a lot of seasoning. I wish it had more seasoning. It's pretty bland, but with some melted cheese, tomato, whatever else you usually add on a burger, I think it would do pretty well. I think it would do pretty well. The size is comparable to like an In-N-Out patty if you're from California or not from California and you've had In-N-Out and you know that, that you like that thinness, then this might be for you. But I'm someone who likes a thick burger, so I love like the Impossible Burger or the Beyond Burger a lot more. Hmm. I would buy it again, due to the fact that the macros are good. They probably put like some soy sauce or something, I think, to add to some like umami flavor, but it comes through a little too much. I will say there's that. So I like the sausage more, but I would definitely buy both products again. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this, maybe make something else afterwards, having Dr. Pepper Zero, because it ain't gonna kill me, so. All right guys, so what I got right here is a banana, papaya, almond milk. I'll call it more of a sorbet than I will like a banana and ice cream because if there was probably a higher ratio of banana, it would come out a lot thicker and creamier. And plus I used xanthan gum instead of guar gum. So I'll put the card above for my guar gum versus xanthan gum when, it makes, when you make like a banana or a protein ice cream recipe because this would be a lot creamier if I had used one added protein powder and too if I use the guar gum because it helps really thicken it rather than the guar gum because you'll see it's kind of like this I don't know like a melted gelato-y kind of texture if it was just bananas it would come out naturally creamy and then I added ice and then the xanthan gum but I have that whole bag of xanthan gum so I got to use it up sometimes I'll use it in gluten-free baking because that's actually what it's preferably used for but we're not gonna get into that I'm gonna enjoy this mmm I had purchased like a giant papaya and just chopped it up to put in the freezer to add to smoothies because they're good for you. And so I'm not like a big fan of having them alone, but I like them in smoothies. So it's been enjoyable and kind of like the thing I've been doing lately. Okay, so as you saw, I just had quickly an iced coffee. Um, something I will note, because I'm in my off season and my goal is just to be like a main gaining, so eating a little more than normal, 
I do like to have some flexibility. So sometimes I'll like eat a strawberry or a random blueberry or piece of something. I don't film those things because it would be weird for me to just be like, hi, now I'm eating a blueberry. Hi, now I'm eating one strawberry. Of course, if I was cutting, like I wouldn't be snacking in that manner. I would be a lot more stringent with my diet and everything, but it being off season and having the goal of wanting to grow, a strawberry is not going to hurt my progress or make me gain an extra pound tomorrow. So just remember to have balance in your diet. You don't have to count every little macro. I mean, unless you are cutting for a show or maybe you're getting ready for a vacation and you're really trying to own in on that discipline, then it's important. It's important to practice that discipline. I do think so. But if you're always that overly dis disciplined with yourself and you're not a competitor i think that's when people you know can develop like an eating disorder so just be careful with that so that's just my two cents on that but anyways i'm gonna get dressed and ready my mom and i are gonna go walk around encinitas it's a beautiful day i don't think we're gonna eat around there if we do i'll probably film it on my phone or whatever maybe do some grocery shopping afterwards but next time i eat i'll be back here with y'all so I'll catch you guys in a uh, YouTube seconds or so. So it's 3.30 and I've been back for a while. I just hadn't been really hungry after the walk, doing some more reading for my class and stuff that I'm taking. Anyways, I'm gonna go downstairs and make something quick and then I'll bring it back up here so I can continue working, but I'll show you what I make, probably something like just some vegetables or something because I'm pretty high on the protein right now, but we can do moderate carbs right now. All right, so for a snack, lunch, I don't know what to call this meal. This is zucchini with some okra, and then I just like, it was frozen, and then I heated it up in the microwave, and then put taco sauce on it, and then I have some water, and then I'm gonna be taking my turmeric ginger pills from Live Body because it's good for inflammation, and yeah, whenever you eat anything artificial, whenever you exercise, your body gets inflamed and so it's important to you know control that like whenever i make my tofu scramble i definitely put extra turmeric and ginger on it just because that's good for inflammation it's also good to have post-workout so even on off days i will take those pills I haven't really mentioned them before i realized because i only just started implementing that more definitely have noticed like a lot better like joint feeling like who would have thought that you would think that's just like you know glucosamine and taking care and you know fish oil or whatever kind of omega that you take but inflammation has a lot to do with it so i highly recommend taking those pills especially if you don't like the taste of turmeric because it is pretty potent if you add it to food and it's not like a superfood that you can just add to a smoothie you are going to taste it and it will ruin it so highly recommend that yo i gotta show you guys this but i'm so stoked this came through so there's this really cool company that i found called gasp there are also like i think like a co team or not team but like brand with better bodies um so i'll show you the coupon code that i use to like get this stuff but i got new wraps finally new lifting wraps they're a little shorter so they're going to be easier to put on when i bench press so i'm super stoked to try those out yay and then i got a shirt i'll show you all so I don't know about you guys, but I love to wear big baggy shirts like this at the gym quite often. Most likely they're on like leg days. So I got their shirt in a medium. So I'll show you it. It's a men's shirt. So it will be big. But oh my god, <laughs> this is perfectly big. Oh my goodness. I love it. And this is the back. Super dope. I can't wait to wear it. <sighs> yes. Oh my gosh. It's always perfect on a leg day if you just want to like show off the leg muscles hide the gains a little bit you don't want to show them off every day so yeah super stoked i'm gonna link um their website in my description box below if you want to check them out i found them on like instagram and i was like i don't know i just thought they were cool and yeah you can get like 50 it's not my code but you can get 15 percent off using that code that i put down below that i used to get them too because this feels like really nice and thick so i can't wait to work out in it we will definitely do some workout footage sometime soon. Anyways, I'm getting hungry. So let's go downstairs and get some food.
All right, guys, so it was kind of like I had a breakfast for dinner by having a tofu scramble, but it's delicious. It's one of my favorite things to make. I don't know, I'm just like addicted to it. And then I made my own like tofu scramble seasoning. So let me know if you want me to make a video on how to create that. But anyways, it is time for some dessert. And I thought we would do another little taste test with you guys because King Lang Nutrition Lions Pack, Lions Choice, they've had other names in the past, came out with two new flavors. We've got Homer Donut and Thin Mint Cookie. Oh my gosh, because their Samoa is so good. Oh, I, I haven't featured them in a video in so long just because I've been buying flavors that we've already tried together, or they just haven't popped up on like a full day of eating. But anyways, yes, I love their stuff. I stock up with them all the time because it's just like a good macro-friendly dessert. So. Yeah, use the coupon code if you want to save some money on them. Anyways, I'm stoked to try these exact same macros on these two. 90 calories, 2.5 fat, 14 carb, and 5 protein for two tablespoons. So let's pop these open and try them. I want to start with the Homer Donut. I just love how pink it is. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. Ah! All right, so here is the Homer Donut. Hopefully you can see that well. It's so pink. Oh my gosh, I love it. it smells so good and sweet with the sprinkles and everything. Mm. Whoa. Mmm. Taste is phenomenal. The texture is super different. It's not like their other stuff. Mmm. Reminds me. This is gonna sound weird. But the texture is a mix of like a marshmallow and Play-Doh. I know that sounds kind of funny because it doesn't quite bounce back, but you chew through it. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is so good and sweet and just decadent. What? Mmm. 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 It tastes like a sugar cookie. Oh my gosh. More like a sugar cookie than it does a donut. But regardless, it's so good. Plus, I feel like whenever you see the actual pink donuts, they're usually strawberry donuts. So should have been pink. But they wanted to make it like a Homer Simpson pink donut, so I get it. Mm. Oh, so it's not overly sweet. I'm, I know I keep saying so sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. Mm. I'm addicted. Oh yeah, and they're all vegan. They do have gluten-free option ones, but those ones are not the gluten-free ones. I don't know how many flavors they have in gluten-free. But anyways, onto the Thin Mints. Oh my goodness, yo. Those, oh, they got sprinkles too. Check it out, that's awesome. Heck yeah. Let's see, let me, ooh. It's been in the fridge for a hot minute, so. Ooh, I didn't get enough of a scoop, but that's okay. So, looks like that. You can see the green sprinkles, mmm, so cute. Still kind of that chewy texture. Now, mmm, but the mint, sorry, mmm. Holy cannoli. Mmm, that's good. I think they, the texture changed because now they've made it where you can, all their doughs are bakeable as well. So I think they just had to make it that consistency, but like, <laughs> I am not gonna be baking these. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I'm addicted. Mmm. So good. Go try them for yourselves. Wow. That is a way to end the night. Hold on, I gotta have a little more of the Homer Donut. I allocated for the macros, don't worry. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. The texture definitely has changed. But, flavor-wise, man, they nail it. It's like, I don't know how they do that. It's so good. Mmm. The ones I always go back to, if you guys want reference, I like an oatmeal raisin person, classic chocolate chip. Those are my favorites, but this one, oh yeah. I'm still going back for this one. As you can tell, I'm going back already. Wow. Okay, now it's getting really sweet. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the night here. If you made it all the way to, this, to the end of the video, I love you all. You are amazing. Comment below. Wow, I can't believe she did that. Maybe we'll just play a prank on like some people and be like, why are they calling you that? And they'll have to watch the whole video to understand why he said that. So anyways, yeah, comment down below 
why did she do that if you watched it all the way through so yes oh my gosh like subscribe if you haven't already like come on join the fam i can't wait to do some more gym footage that fun stuff i've been taking a nice break and stuff and just uploading other videos hopefully we got some card almost filled up but anyways yes uh, hopefully we have another supplement review coming out for you soon i do have a pre-workout to try with you guys so stay tuned for that otherwise i love you guys stay safe strong healthy go vegan i don't know if you want all right i'll catch you later bye